Right, we're, well I've been back from the gadget road trip for just over a month now. Um, still trying to, in my head, still trying to um, relive the amazing scenery that I saw or we saw whilst we were driving there for sort of 1,257 miles. Um, as I promised, the remainder of the funds that are donated to the um, gadget road trip have now been donated to the British Red Cross. Uh, that was a sum of £42.32, so that was what was left out of donations which we used to um, buy some airbeds, which we're going to also donate to charity, and also um, to feed us and uh, water us during the journey, so we could, f could, we could eat, basically. Uh, it would have perhaps gone a little bit further if, the extent, if there wasn't for the extortionate prices um, that get charged on motorway service stations. But all, all in all, it was good. We had some money left over and that's gone to the British Red Cross now. The reason I wanted to donate to the Red Cross was um, I was particularly uh, affected by the Grenfell Tower disaster that happened earlier in the year. And I know that affected Paul as well. And it was obvious to me at the time that the British Red Cross were first on the ground there, really. Uh, immediately after it happened, I think they were there sort of straight away uh, and they provided much needed assistance to the very very poor families that had lost their loved ones their homes and everything they owned they literally only had the clothes on their backs and they were there in a, in a sort of matter of minutes it seemed uh, and it's because of this I wanted to donate to this charity since Grenfell, other disasters have continued to affect people around or around our planet. Um, and the British Red Cross always seem to be on the ground providing, continuing to provide uh, much needed support for people that have lost everything. Uh, have lost everything they own and still lack the basics of clean water, electricity and food even months after these disasters have taken place. So if you'd like to continue to help them, you can do so at uh, www.redcross.org.uk uh, and you can donate if you want to. So I think that basically wraps up that part of the trip. Um, there's a big list of people I'd like to thank. That's on eastwestroadtrip.co.uk. Um, all those people that helped out, thank you very much, either providing funds or services for free. Uh, I really appreciate it, but you can go and find out who all those people were by going to eastwestroadtrip.co.uk. So thanks ever so much for everybody's support, and uh, I'll post this up to the website so you can perhaps watch it later on.